Now to the showdown over Ebola. Maine nurse Casey Hickok stepping out of her house last night to talk to reporters, saying she's negotiating with the state to end her quarantine. Exactly ABC's Lindsay Janice is in, in Fort Kent, Maine, with the latest on this. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Robin. We're standing outside of Casey Hickox's house where, as you can see, a state trooper is standing guard. The nurse now locked in a battle with her home state that could affect all health care workers returning from the fight against Ebola. Just moments ago, nurse Casey Hickox emerged from her main home for a bike ride. Overnight, Hickox taking her first steps outside the house where she had agreed to voluntarily quarantine herself for just a few days. The 33-year-old telling Maine TV station WLBZ she's trying to reach a solution with state officials who want her to stay in isolation for another 12 days. We have been in negotiations all day with the state of Maine and try to resolve this amicably. But the state determined, sending police to monitor her movements and preparing to ask the courts to enforce the quarantine, even saying she could face jail time if she doesn't comply. If this does occur, then I will challenge those legal actions. But people in this tiny town deep in moose country are scared and angry. It sounds like you're saying some of the people of Fort Kent are mad at Casey Hickox. They are. They are. The police chief telling us he's been inundated with calls. She was arrogant and saying that she was not going to abide by a voluntary quarantine. People are concerned about her attitude. The debate illustrating the lack of consensus across America over how to deal with health care workers returning home after fighting Ebola in West Africa. With health care workers returning home after fighting Ebola in West Africa. The fact is, uh, the military will have more uh, Americans in Liberia than uh, any other uh, department. Despite telling ABC News she would go to the court today to have the quarantine lifted, Hickox now telling us she may wait for Maine to make the first move. George? They have a standoff there. Okay, Lindsay, thanks very much.